Hello and welcome to Geeket Play Studio Tutorials. In this tutorial, we look how to create underwater lighting. So let's begin by selecting our camera. And one thing I want to show you, so if we're going right now and create a water layer, you'll notice our camera is pop up above. The reason is why? Because we have the height is locked. So let's uncheck this. Take our camera and move a little bit below water level. We also can take our water and just bring it slightly up above. So let me adjust our camera right here. So this right now, if we go ahead and render, let's render to the screen. There we go. This is our normal underwater scene. The you don't see any light. What I want to do, I want to make a gaussing lights beams going from the and create a little bit more look like it's underwater. So let's go ahead and create our aquatic spotlight. We'll just put above the water. On this spotlight, what I want to do, I want to increase spread to about 40, 45. Okay. Next, we go ahead and enable volumetric light on. So let's go do this way. Let's move a little bit on the side and kind of tangle. So we have it like lights go from the sideways. In this case, we can see them a little bit better. Okay, next we'll enable light gel. So we'll left click, it's open our light gel. And if you look, we're coming with few of light gels. So what I want to do, I want to go to our Omega Part 3, we have it, and just load it one from there. The reason why it's a little bit more detail and higher contrast. If you want, you can create those ones in Photoshop as well. So let's open this one. And other things, I want to just double time click. So I go in the editor. And in function scale, just for this one, I want to decrease down to one. So it will be smaller kind of beams going. While we have it open our light editor, let's click on a volumetric light time. And we'll enable this show smoke or dust. So let's click on that one. So we'll add nicer kind of particle effect in our light beams. As well, let's go click on the shadows. And what I want to do, I want to enable soft shadow and click after size and reduce dark shadow maybe to about 70. It will produce nice effect on the ground. Let's click OK. Okay. So let's create a little bit underwater scene. And after this, we'll go and modify a um, little bit light settings to provide better quality when we render. So before we do this, let's create on our water layer and just click on the um, icon. So the ecosystem, when we start populating below water, won't be affected by this water layer. So let's go click and select terrain right click on the terrain and go to edit object and edit object i want to reset click on the peaks okay click on the dunes once next i want to increase the resolution to 1004 by 1024 by clicking on multiplier and click on the dunes again i will click ok at this point what i want to do actually i want to stretch this so you don't use the corners. Corner will resize. If you go on the sides, this is will just a stretch in the direction you pull in your terrain. So I want just to stretch around. Next, I want to do it is to go on the top and squish a little bit down. Okay. Also, let's see if we can bring a little bit more on the sides. There you go. Next, let's work on material. So we go ahead, click to load material. We'll go to landscape, and we'll go load soft dunes material for that. Okay. Other things, um, maybe you no. Know, add some rock around here. So we'll go ahead and click on the sphere. We'll create one sphere. It will be our basic rock. Let's move it around here. Squeeze, make it smaller. And stretch a little bit up. Let's let's move towards the camera. Oops. Let's stretch. Just the move. There you go. So we'll put around here. 
And one thing what I want to do, apply to this, let me see what's water, water just above, maybe what goes slightly up. Okay. Next, what I want to do, it is apply um, material, special material to this sphere. And it will be displacement. So what I go ahead and load it one we pre-made before in our Mega Bug 3 in the rocks, it's called Clay Rock. One thing, if you don't have it, this, um, you can just watch tutorial we post on Geek at Play. It's showing how to create displacement materials rocks. Just click OK. And you know what? Let's go preview, see what we have it right now. Yeah, so we have it. Nice view. You can see we have it shadows on the ground. Maybe we need to work a little bit more with those shadows to make them more look like a water. But again, it's nice lighting going already. And some shot right here from the sun. So let's do this way. Let's go take our click on the sun. Let's make position of the sun close to position of the lighting. The next we go ahead, right click, edit object, and we'll click enable soft shadow map and after size. One thing you need to be aware, it will increase time of the rendering. So if you don't going for the more realistic high quality you probably and it's okay other color quality okay with you you don't want to use this uh, soft shadows so let me go right here as well and then i go to shadows and i want just maybe bring even more down on the shadow okay so next things what i want to do it is go to select our light edit object and in the volumetric tab, just let you know, you have it right here called Quality Boost. So if you want it a little bit smaller and everything, you can increase this. But remember, this is all quality come with a price. So the render will be much longer if you do this way. Okay, so let me also look a couple of things. Just position our lights just right with. Okay. Let's go maybe add, you know what, let's add a couple more fishes and maybe plants. So we'll go file, load object, and we'll go to animal aquatic. Let me just select one fish. Okay, now let's load it this way. Closer to the camera. Just duplicate it a few times. Okay, bring it down. So we'll just reposition different height. Okay, now let's go to set our custom ratings. I want to click on the user settings. And what I want to do, I want unchecked optimized volumetric light. It will increase time of the render, but it's give it better quality on our lights. You can also increase just about 56. Okay, I think we're ready. So let's go select final, oops, user settings, everything right. Let's click on render now. Okay, so here is our image. Couple things I noticed, which is kind of I don't like. I don't like these straight lines, and I show how we can fix them. And it will apply to any other parent you're doing. And also, fish is a little bit too dark. So let's go create. For the fish, we'll create another quadric lighting, and we'll just put it maybe around here, which is add lights to the front. So this is will make our fish a little bit light up properly. Again, this is what we're looking to create a correct lighting. And also on our quadric light, let's go ahead and edit jet light. Couple open, couple times. We'll go right click and edit function. Okay. Inside the function right here, you can notice we have it. So we'll go look on our turbulence and maybe just increase so it will be a little bit more turbulence, less lines. So 
So let's go look right here. Pick preview. And these lines look a little bit better. Again, at any time, we can go ahead. Oops, is our turbulence node right here? We can go in turbulence node and modify harmonics or other ways so we can preview. Seems like these ones look nice. Click OK. So now when lighting will go down. And you know what? I'll set just preview so we can very fast look on how the lights will come. Okay, you can see it's already look better, less straight lines. More nicer. And that's what I like it. I like these lights, how the smaller lines going towards down. Let's go edit, go shadows, make even more softer shadows on the bottom. Click OK on this one. So let's go click on our, our front light. Move it just a little bit above. So lighting and maybe it away. Again, so what we've done in our we increase the spread. Um, we could pop up a little bit more on the power, which is produce a little bit sharper lines in this case, more visible. So we modify gel, we modify um, metric. We add smoke cast. We can pop up quality if you want to have a better quality. And then we also have a custom gel. So we did um, terrain rocks. I think this has actually become very nice looking. So let's go make final render. Okay, so here is our final image. And I do like it's what we try to achieve. It's our lighting, how the lights fall down from the uh, water. It's nice representation gaustic oils as well as in the service. Um, bottom one. It's an interesting shadows and we can see even shadows from fish and other ones apply here. Um, we could reduce even more on the shadowing so it won't be that big difference between gray and dark. It will be a little bit um, smaller adjustments. Or you also can try apply different type of the light gel to see what effect you try to achieve. But again, if you have a too much grayish, you will have it may a lot of lights between the beams so it won't be that um, kind of nice representation it's well just try and play see what kind of balance you're getting between of them and it's where you're concentrating it on a floor of the um, water or inside what we try on a lighting that passed through the water thank you for watching this tutorial from geek at play studio please come visit us on the web is www.geekatplay.com